Hello and welcome to What the Hey, where someone asked a question, so I'm gonna answer it. When I go to my notebook of knowledge, I see the question of uh, who the hey is Thomas1651? Now this question comes from Thomas1651, so hello to you and thank you very much for the question. Now in terms of a very basic introduction, animated characters, live recorded skits, as well as Roblox related gameplay are typically what are released onto the Thomas1651 channel. Specifically discussing the animated characters portion of this channel, a lot of what they feature are characters from different communities like Battle for Dream Island as well as Thomas the Tank Engine. So if that stuff you're familiar with this channel may be for you. So first what I'm gonna do with this topic is kind of go over some background information just so you're more familiar with where it started and where it's at. To start, Thomas1651 decided to join YouTube on April 7th of 2012, and since then they've gotten an overall channel view count of around 571,000. When speaking on the community related to this channel, currently they have around 1.1 thousand subscribers, and for those people they've released around 130 videos. Personally, for me, whenever I see channels that have more subscribers than they do individual videos, I always feel like that's really cool because that means there's quite a few people who enjoy what they do. And if you happen to already be familiar with this channel or you're new to it, and you would like to support it in another way besides just subscribing, they also have a Scratch account as well as a Roblox account, so you can feel free to reach out to them there. Now going back to discussing more of the actual channel, if you want to check out what they do but you want to watch specific content, they do have small and very concise and specific playlists. A majority of the playlists that they have on their channel feature their own work, so it's not too confusing to where you don't know whether or not you're watching their own videos. So what they have so far in the playlist category is overall pretty helpful with finding what you want to watch. So now for this last section of the video, what I'm going to be doing is introducing the oldest, the newest, as well as the most popular videos on this channel. Because as I mentioned, I always feel like it's really helpful to kind of get a grasp of where a channel is at when you see where they first started out and where they're at now. So to start, the oldest video on the channel currently is titled Thomas Sky High Bridge Jump First Video, which was uploaded on January 28th of 2017. Which I guess in terms of a timeline means that they created their channel in 2012 and then started to actually release stuff in 2017, but honestly, if you want to wait to make content and feel prepared to do so, I don't think that's a bad idea. Now as I typically include, if you're someone who only watches YouTube channels that upload relatively frequently, this one is kind of like in a gray area for right now at least because their most recent upload, Haunted Henry Tomy Remake, was uploaded on October 31st of 2022. So for right now at least, they seem to be taking a break, but that's all good. Finally, if you would like to check out the video that currently has the most views, that one is titled Roblox Thomas and the Magic Railroad Most Viewed Video, which has around 110,000 views and was uploaded on January 28th of 2017. Which is kind of crazy because apparently that's the same day that they decide to start uploading content, so that's a pretty good coincidence. In terms of my general opinion, I feel like my favorite aspects of this channel is their impressive animations as well as the funny memes. I'm always a person who enjoys a funny haha meme, so I like that. But they also tend to upload videos that are in relation to communities, as I already mentioned, like Battle for Dream Island which I don't really know what that's entirely about. I think it has something to do with object shows, which I'm a little bit more familiar with, but overall from what I've seen from that community, they all come out with really good animations and art in general. So personally, I always find it to be really cool when someone can express themselves artistically through a community that is really focused on art. So although that's not like the main focus of their channel and their content in general, I still think it's really cool. But that is essentially the answer, and if you would like to check out this particular channel, I will have a link and have them tagged in the description, so that's there. Also, if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to let me know and I'll jot them down and get to them as soon as I can, but that is it. So thank you very much for watching. Bye.